mobile, uh, stunt mobile uh, multiband antenna here, and running about 150 watts from uh, um, an ICOM 775 DSP, and the microphone is original hand mic, HM36, which I didn't like, it never worked well, but it's in a small modification, and now everything seems okay. Uh, please no greetings for you and your family there, Mauro. I said five, Tango Lima Delta. From Echo India 4, India Bravo, over. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, Nick. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I wish to you and your family all the best and also uh, very, very Merry Christmas and a good, uh, happy new year. Thank you for the QSO, and I leave you in the in the radio for to for to contact all the other people that are in waiting. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mauro. And uh, you hold on to that radio. Sounds terrific. Uh, best seventy three. IZ five Tango Lima Delta. Echo India four India Bravo three. And just listening. Ciao, Mauro. Ciao. Charlie Sierra 7 Alpha Golf November. Uh, the Golf November station, go ahead, please. Uh, it's uh, Charlie Sierra 7 Alpha Golf November. Is there a Roger? Again, please. Uh, it's a Canada Santiago 7 Alpha Golf November. Charlie Sierra 7 Alpha Golf November, QSL. Roger, Roger. Charlie Sierra 7, Alpha Golf November. Uh, sorry, it, uh, it took me a while to get your call because there was somebody else calling in there with you, more or less on the same uh, signal strength as yourself. So the other station calling, I do hear you in there as well, so if you just want to bear with me, I'll get back to you in a moment there. Um, my name is Nick, Norway, India, Charlie Kilo, and we're in Central Ireland. So back to you there, Charlie Sierra 7, Alpha Golf November. This is Echo India 4, India Bravo. How copy over? Echo India 4, uh, India Bravo, Charlie Sierra 7, AGN returning. I copy you loud and clear, my good friend uh, Nick. Uh, you are about uh, 5, 9 plus 10 dB with me, so no problems whatsoever to get a beautiful copy on you. On this side, the operator name is uh, Pedro. Pedro like Papa Echo, Delta, Romeo, Oscar. And I'm transmitting uh, from more or less about uh, 35 kilometers south from Lisbon, the capital city of Portugal. The working conditions on this side, I'm transmitting with a Canwood transceiver. It's the Tango Sugar 870. And I'm pushing about 100 watts into a exabeam antenna pointing towards uh, your position. The microphone, it's a Heil microphone. It's the Papa Radio 781. And this is uh, pretty much my working conditions. And I'll let the microphone back to you. Echo India 4, uh, India Bravo, CS7 AGN is listening for you. Go ahead. Yeah, very good. Fine business, Petro. Yeah. I was actually looking on the net there uh, a couple of weeks ago at those uh, hex beam antennas and um, they seem to work very well and very ruggedly built uh, antenna. And uh, I've, I've, I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I'd be interested to hear your comments uh, about this antenna. And uh, how high do you have it from the ground? Uh, Pedro, how, how many meters on the tower? Or maybe it's just on your house, I'm not sure, on your home there, perhaps. But working very well. You're 5 and 9 plus here also. 59 plus also. Into the central part of Ireland. I'm just uh, running an ICOM here, 775 DSP. Microphone is stock, original mic with a modification. And uh, I'm just testing a homemade dipole. I'm using a ZS6 uh, BKW. It's similar to G5 or the antenna, but the different dimensions to give better SWR on uh, three, four bands with no ATU. Uh, Pedro, so I'm just making some tests here at the moment on uh, on 20 meters. Uh, so that's the setup here. Back to you there again, Pedro. And tell me a little bit more about your antenna. 
I'd be interested to hear your comments. Charlie, CR7, Alpha Golf November from Echo India 4, India Bravo, over. Echo India 4, uh, India Bravo, CS7 AG and returning. Okay. Uh, let me say uh, congratulations for your working conditions. Um, they are still making a very nice job for you. Uh, 5, 9 plus 20. So conditions are increasing a little bit for you. And I have no problems whatsoever to get a beautiful copy on you. Okay. A little information more about my X-Beam antenna. Okay, my exit beam antenna, it's the, the G3TXQ uh, module, uh, which is the broadband model. It's a six band uh, antenna from the six meter to the 20 meters uh, band. So um, it's a two elements by uh, per month uh, and it's um, sitting about uh, nine meters, not so high. Nine meters off the ground, uh, it's the current layer of my antenna. Um, and it's performing quite well. The antenna was built by um, by um, by a OEM in uh, UK, uh, Mr. Anthony Mike Whiskey Zero, Juliet uh, Zulu Echo. Um, it's the um, the manufacturer of this antenna. It's uh, built to last. Let me say uh, it's a quite professional built, and it's very easy to assemble. So it's also quite suitable for a uh, mobile or portable operation because um, with uh, some practice you can um, assemble the antenna in less than 30 minutes. Okay, uh, of course uh, my antenna is it's in on the permanent uh, assembling uh, on top of, um, of a tilt over mast and like I said about 9 meters off the ground. So it's not very high but anyway it's uh, performing quite well for me. Uh, it's quite broadbanded uh, from the 6 meter to the 20 meters, so I have no problems and no need to use any, any kind of tunnel. Uh, it works uh, pretty much well connected directly to the, um, to the, um, to the transceiver without uh, any help from the internal tunnel of the Canwood. So um, if you want to uh, know a, a little bit more about these antennas, uh, Mr. Anthony, uh, Mike Whiskey Zero, Juliet uh, Zulu Echo. The, um, the guy has um, a beautiful web page on the internet. Just Google for the, the call sign and you will uh, find definitely uh, lots of information about uh, the design of this antenna. Uh, I know and let me share with you that uh, currently Anthony is developing and uh, testing a new uh, antenna design. And, and is uh, pretending to have the 40 meters band to the antenna. So at the end, it will be a seven band exabeam. Uh, I think it's uh, almost done and very, very soon he will release it, the seven uh, band uh, exabeam to the market. Echo India 4, India Bravo, Charlie Sierra 7 AGN, go ahead. Charlie, Sierra 7, uh, AGN, from Echo India 4, India Bravo, uh, returning. Thank you very much, uh, Petra, for uh, taking the time to explain all that to me about uh, the antenna. And uh, you pretty much answered all my questions all in one there with that, uh, with that uh, explanation there. Um, uh, mostly important, uh, I was wondering about the SWR, so you've uh, answered uh, you can use it with no ATU. Of course, the, uh, the antenna... Uh, is more efficient uh, without the ATU. And I like to do all my tuning at the antenna. I don't believe in using ATUs at all. Uh, uh, if I can get away with it there, um, uh, Pedro. So this antenna I just built myself, as I said, the Zulu Sierra 6 <coughs> BKW. Excuse me, it's uh, similar to the G5RV, but much better, in my opinion, because... Um, you don't need uh, any uh, tuning, and it works on 40, 20, 17, on 12 meters. And uh, also on 10 meters with a little bit of help from the ATU, uh, which I don't like, but anyhow, if I want to use 10, I need to use the ATU. But I don't need on 17, 12, 20, and 40 meters. And uh, it's just strung up between some trees, about 12 meters, or maybe a little more in the back of uh, the garden here. Um, Pedro, so that's the, the setup here. 
So I, uh, I'll put it back to you there for any final comments. I did acknowledge another station there, so you know I don't want to keep him waiting too long. I'd like to stay and chat a little bit more, but as I said, I did acknowledge another station, so I'm not to keep him waiting. I'll put it back to you there for any final commentary, and then I'll uh, pick it up with the other uh, station who was calling. But uh, lovely to meet you on the band, Pedro. Seasonal greetings to you and your family. Uh, congratulations on your hex being uh, it's doing a super fine job. I am familiar with the antenna, and I believe you have the new broadband design with the C configuration on the reflector instead of the W configuration that's claimed it works better. So, uh, Charlie Sierra 7, Alpha Golf November, this is Echo India 4, India Bravo for a possible final. Go ahead, Pedro. Echo India 4, uh, India Bravo, CS7 AGN returning. Yes, uh, absolutely right. This is the new broadband design with the C reflector and the percent. And let me say that also on the 10 meters, probably is the, the only band that the ATU is required, but only for the, the Foxtrot mic part of the band. Uh, on the Foxtrot mic uh, part of the band, I have SWR of a 1 to 9. So probably is there when the, um, the need for the AT, ATU is needed. Uh, the other bands, uh, because they are quite uh, narrow, uh, no ATU at all. Uh, so for me, it works very well, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for this beautiful QSO. I realize that you have other stations uh, looking forward to work you. So I'll let you go, uh, wishing, uh, wishing you the best 73s and best regards, and also happy season for you, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. And I will be looking forward to meet you several times in the future down on the log. All the best, 73, best regards. And thank you so much for the QSL. Echo India 4, India Bravo, Charlie Sierra 7, AGN, off and clear. Bye-bye. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Petro. I, I look forward to working you maybe on the other bands, uh, maybe on 17 or 12, one of the days. And uh, be interested to see uh, how, how the hex beam works on, uh, on that band. I'm sure it works fantastic for you, uh, Petro. But uh, thank you very much for the call, and seasonal greetings for you and the family once again there. Uh, until the next time, uh, good DX, uh, Pedro. Charlie Sierra 7, Alpha Golf November. This is Echo India 4, India Bravo. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, clear off. Bye-bye, Pedro. Who, who was the other 